Good morning, folks. Comet Panstars on stereo BHI-1. You can see it just after sunset. After somewhat of a cosmic drought, we had our second gamma burst in three days. This went out of the Vela constellation down south. For those who don't like JPL or Stellarium, this is the planetstoday.com. It's a geocentric, non-scale view that's useful for checking conjunctions and oppositions. Earth is in the center. You'll recognize this celestial grouping we've been showing near the sun for weeks. You can move through time and a number of other metrics and visuals. I will show you most of them at the end of this video. Cyclone Tim, stalling in the Coral Sea, trying to catch its breath before heading for Queensland. Let's look at the Euro expected precipitation, seems divided in the middle. Those two lows tag teaming the continent yesterday have divided as well. One still pulling Mediterranean warmth and moisture up over the Eastern Bloc while the Western low spins slowly southward over the UK and Western Europe. South America, ridiculous growth in viewership here. Let's take a look at this blue low pressure mass with the one southward extension of the blue near the west coast. Now look at the precipitation totals, the expected rainfall and thunderstorm watch. It should be pretty easy to check the situation based on pressure here. In the United States, these powerful lows are merging and creating a seal at the low pressure bottom. No more warm north flow to Canada like the last few days. As this isolates and settles into the southeast Sunday and Monday, we will see the chance for a return of tornadoes. Let's go to the top story. Coronal mass ejection on its way to Earth. The Earth's perfectly timed eclipse of the satellite blocked only the moment of filament release. You should be able to see bright arcs where none were before. Now this is definitely coming at Earth, but I need to explain some key points here. Most of you think of traditional solar flares and CMEs as coming from sunspots, like this here, a flash of X-ray energy followed by a coronal explosion of particles, cause and effect. However, filament eruptions like the one we saw yesterday do the opposite. The large mass of plasma destabilizes and releases outward into space, which then causes a hydro flare, where the electromagnetic connections arc between the edges of the solar tsunami. These are post-explosion flares. But coming back to this one, Good news and bad news. The good news is that this was a very wide blast and therefore much less dense and transferring less energy than a narrower eruption like this, which is in my top five CMEs ever list. Definitely different when we have these wide blasts. Now the bad news comes from the animal spirals. NASA shows direct hit. The best way to notice is watch the far right panel. Yellow is Earth in the perspective from a midnight position. You're looking for a splash. NASA's arrival prediction time is only hours from now, that is one speedy CME. NOAA confirms both the impact to Earth and the speed. On the right you'll see the spike at the end of the day today, up to 800 kilometers per second. Color code actually suggests it could be a bit faster. One day arrival CMEs have a chance to be significant for satellites and maybe even electrical systems. The solar wind metrics are showing yesterday's minor CME impact is waning. We had no geomagnetic storms. Sunspots, although they appear unable to flare with power, they are still able to move plasma fairly well, including a departing southern region. Up north, a filament set between those sunspots is destabilizing and probably won't be there tomorrow. A CME just popped out of the southern region as well. We're not done yet. Energetic flux at planet Earth is about 10 times what it was during the CME impact yesterday. We are nearly at a polar radiation storm. To top all this off, the umbral field never opened yesterday, but this is what I was afraid of. It's opening now and must be watched as it turns to face the Earth. Also might want to watch the radiation levels near the poles and this CME, which everyone expects to hit before we speak again tomorrow. Stick around, let me show you how this planet thing works. Eyes open. No fear, it's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.